Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to another week of meals. So I do these what's for dinner type videos pretty often and show you guys what we eat on weeknights and how I use up my freezer prep and just how I incorporate a lot of meal prepping into our everyday eating. So this week I've got a lot of great meals planned, things that are super, super easy. If you guys are really busy right now, especially with school starting up again and all of that stuff, I've got some great meal ideas. And if I can remember to get all of the recipes, I will be linking those below. I know, I know, I should remember, but once in a while, I'm human too and I forget. So remind me if I forget to put them in the comments. If you are totally new here, I do a lot of healthy eating, a lot of stuff that is gluten-free friendly, keto friendly. We just aim to eat a lot healthier in our house. My husband is gluten sensitive, so that is one reason I do a lot of things that are more gluten-free friendly. But I also like to let you guys know whenever you can use regular breadcrumbs or regular flour and you don't have to feel like you just have to be eating this way to enjoy getting some meal inspiration on my channel. Anyways, I feel like I've rambled on and on long enough. We can jump into our week and I hope that you guys enjoy this, get a pen and paper and write down some ideas. Tonight's dinner is one that I am going to just put in the oven. I pulled this out of the freezer this morning and it is sweet potato enchiladas. And we're gonna top it with some sour cream, maybe a little shredded cheese and some diced avocado once they're heated through. And then I'm also gonna be whipping up some grape salad, which I'll show you how to do here in just a second. Okay, while that is heating up, we're gonna whip up some grape salad. The other day I was meal planning and I have no clue why this popped in my mind. I haven't had it in years, but I was like, I could totally eat some grape salad right now. So basically all you need for this recipe is you could do one kind of grapes, but of course it's a little more fun to do red and green. So um, you'll just need some of those. I'll leave the recipe linked below because there is a like legitimate recipe for this. And then you need a whole block of cream cheese and a cup of Greek yogurt or sour cream. I figured I would use up some of my Greek yogurt here and then you add in some sugar. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit of sugar and a little bit of stevia just so that it's not so much sugar because in reality, this is pretty healthy. It's not too off course. So um, yeah, that's all you do. So I'm gonna clean up the grapes and get this mixed up in the mixing bowl so that I can dump the grapes in and just stir it all together. All right, you guys, tonight is Taco Tuesday. If you guys watch my What's For Dinner, you know every week on Tuesday we have tacos. Tonight I think I'm gonna try making little quesadillas for the girls with the tacos and just see how they like that, their own little personal quesadilla. Um, anyway, so I've got a pound of ground beef, I've got salt and pepper, some cumin, chili powder, and onion powder, and I just kind of shake it over. The main thing that you want to remember is you want more chili powder than the other spices, but other than that, I just kind of go by sight. 
and make my spices up that way. The reason I do this is because a lot of the packets with taco seasoning mix have extra additives that you really don't need. These are the main flavors in that and it's super simple to do yourself. Hey guys, okay, so it is Wednesday and I'm so excited about tonight's dinner because it's one that I've wanted to try for a long time and it's super simple because it was one of my freezer meals that I've prepped um, in the last little while, but I will link the recipe below because this is so easy, but it is a shrimp boil. So basically it's got like corn and Old Bay seasoning and potatoes and shrimp and sausage and all the yummy stuff. So I got it out this morning. It's been sitting in my sink, thawing out. And now all I have to do is get out a big cookie sheet and dump it all on there. I need to um, set my oven at 350 and then I'm gonna leave it in there for an hour. I'm sure it's gonna make our house smell amazing, probably like Red Lobster or something like that. And and then we'll see what this is like. I don't know what to think or how it's gonna go. The shrimp is uncooked, so I'm thinking that it will cook throughout uh, the process of being baked. Hopefully, I wasn't supposed to get cooked shrimp. I think I'm good with the raw shrimp. So I'm gonna dump everything onto the pan now. Okay, I just pulled that out of the oven. It smells so good in our house right now. But I think one thing with the shrimp is that we're gonna want some butter to dip it into. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of that in the microwave. Well guys, I would say that our little family just crushed <laughs> this meal. It was so delicious. Absolutely a uh, top 10, so, so good. If you're someone that loves seafood, loves all things with shrimp, you will love, love, love this recipe. And it was like so simple. I love the fact that I could just pull it out of the freezer, dump it on a tray, and get it in the oven for an hour. It made the house smell good, and I didn't have to do anything else. The whole meal was right there on the pan, and those are the kind of meals that are definitely a score. All right, for dinner tonight, we are going to be making some shrimp tacos. They're a super, super simple meal. So the marinade that it has is some lime, some olive oil, some chili powder, some red pepper flakes, and some paprika, and then also some minced fresh garlic. So I'm going to toss them in there and then throw them in the frying pan. And then it also has a few other things that go inside that I'm gonna prep right now.
Hey you guys, happy Friday. So we've made it to the end of the week and you guys know if you watch my what's for dinners a lot, that Friday night I always try to do something simple, something easy, something that does not take a lot of work. <laughs> Cause at this point in the week I'm tired and, and so simple is the way to go. So tonight we are going to be making some Italian grilled chicken and then we're also going to be making an Italian salad. I believe it's set called an anti-pasto, anti-pasto. I think I might be saying that right. I'm probably butchering it. But either way, I made it not that long ago while my parents were here and it was super delicious and I thought it would be a great side to keep as a staple. So we're just gonna whip this up super fast. I'm gonna show you how I make this chicken. I know I've been getting comments recently that some of you have been trying this out just using Italian salad dressing as a marinade and then grilling up the chicken and it is seriously one of the best ways to make grilled chicken. Okay guys, so that meal was so delicious. I feel like that would be a great summer night meal. You know, throw some of the chicken on the grill. You don't have to do it on your stove top. You can definitely do it on the grill. Have a nice cold salad, just something that's super light and it doesn't make you feel really weighed down. It also might be a good one for in between the holidays when you are eating a lot. Just a good weeknight meal, but anyways, thanks a lot for joining me for another week of meals. I hope you guys feel inspired. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join my channel. Leave a comment below. Let me know which meal looks the most delicious to you. Give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video.